create a playlist for your YouTube channel 2020 version. Hey Credos, a number of months ago, I made a video about how to create a playlist, but that was back when YouTube Studio was in its beta version and a lot of things have changed. So I'm gonna make an updated video today to show you how to do it with the full YouTube Studio version. Come on down to my computer. When I put my glasses on, you know it's serious. All right, start on your channel homepage. And right here, you should see a big YouTube Studio button. So just click right on that. Now you'll see that the playlist menu item is right there at the top level. So click on your playlists. I like to sort these alphabetically because that's more intuitive to me. Playlists are great for increasing watch time and also to guide your viewers through a series of videos in a way that makes sense. Click on the new playlist button and type in a title. I'm gonna call this GTD for getting things done. Now, you can select right here what kind of a playlist you want. Public, unlisted, or private. And those playlist settings work the same way as they do for an individual video. I'm gonna leave this public and click create. Now you'll see I have a playlist that is just completely empty. If you go over here, you can change the title by clicking here. I'm going to add scheduling and organizing. Save that. No videos. Still public. I can also change it here. And then I can add a description. Here are my favorite GTD videos. I type better when I don't talk at the same time. So here I have a playlist, but it's completely empty. Now, it doesn't look terribly intuitive. How do I add the videos? This has changed, and I don't know why they've made it as obscure as they have. See these three little dots right here? This is where you need to go. By the way, this is a share button to share the link to the whole playlist itself. So I'm gonna click on these three buttons. Now you have some interesting choices. The first one is collaborate, and I will show you that in the advanced settings. There's also, you can delete a playlist, and here you can add individual videos just from this point. But you can do all those from, from the settings also, so I'll show you how that's done. Click on Playlist Settings. Now you'll see an Allow Embedding Toggle button. That means you're either allowing or disallowing people from being able to embed your entire playlist into a blog or another site. And this allows you, obviously, to select that any new video you add to the playlist will automatically go to the top. I'm gonna to click on advanced settings. And this is interesting because it goes to the old style playlist area. But there are some interesting things here. So first we have our basic settings. Again, you can change the privacy setting to public, unlisted, or private. You can also here select to add new videos to the top of the playlist, just like before, a lot of redundancy. And here you can select how your videos are organized. So you have these different selections. You can have the newest or oldest date added. Most popular video will go to the top or newest or oldest date published. Here you can choose to set this playlist as the official series for a playlist. And here's where you can also allow and disallow embedding again. Click over on the auto add tab and here you can define rules that will automatically add videos to playlists you've already created. Here are some of the options. You can choose any video that has a title that contains certain words, a description that contains certain words, or that has a particular tag. The last tab is the collaborate tab. And I guess this is a little bit like a shared Pinterest board where you still own the playlist, but the people that you select can add their own videos to it. So if I click on this, you'll see I can get a link to send to people I want to be able to share it. So I'm gonna turn that back off and I'm gonna save this as is and cancel that. Now I'm gonna show you how to easily add videos. Head on over here and click on add videos. There are three different ways to add the videos very easily. I can click in the video search tab 
And let's say I want to put getting things done. What will show up when I do that? Here's an animated book summary. I like that idea. So I click on that and do add videos. I've got one video added. Now I can add another video. This time I'm going to do it by URL. And I've previously plugged in a URL to an actual interview with the author of Getting Things Done, David Allen. I'm going to add his video. It's annoying that this keeps popping up, but it does in this section anyway. Now in this way, I could search my own videos. So I have a couple of videos that might fit this criteria way down here. Here's my morning routine, so I'll add that. So for, for now, you've seen all three versions. So there I have my playlist. I can choose to play it all right now. I can sh click this and get the link to share this entire playlist. So now I'm gonna go back to my channel and my autoplay will start. So here I am. So I'm gonna click on playlists. Here is my getting things done playlist. I'm gonna click on that, play all, and it will go to an ad. So I'm gonna mute that. But there it goes, it starts right away on the first video. And if you see on the side, you see my three videos, one out of three, right here on the side. Now, of course, I can shrink this down and then you'll see it up here. So there are my three videos and they're added. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add this new playlist to my homepage. You don't have to do this with every playlist. In fact, you can only do it with a limited number, but if you wanna feature it, this is how you do it. So I'm gonna head back over to the playlist and I'm gonna click this share button. And I'm gonna copy the playlist URL. Now I'm gonna go back to my channel and this time I'm gonna click on the big blue customize channel button. This will take me to the customized channel view of my homepage. Now I'm gonna come down to the bottom and here is add a section. Under the content pop-up, I'm going to select single playlist. I'm gonna leave it horizontal. You can make it vertical if you like. And then I'm gonna click my playlist I can do find a playlist and here I can just type in GTD and I can select that and there you see it I could also use the enter playlist URL and pop in the URL I copied either of one of my own playlists or a playlist of someone else as long as they allow embedding so when this is ready I just click done and there's my playlist now look right here here's to go back into edit mode I want to change things let's say I want to change it to vertical done there's a vertical list and if I want to move it up or down in the on the home page I can do that and it will be automatically saved if I go back to my channel scroll down and there's my new playlist so actually there are many steps but it's really an easy process so go make a playlist for your YouTube channel and let me know in the comments how it worked out. Did I miss any steps? Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and ring that notification bell. I'll be doing lots more tech tips and I hope to have you along for the ride. Also, come on over to Instagram at Midlife Credo and see that I don't really post very often, but I do stories. I do lots of stories. Also, join the Midlife Tribe on Facebook where we are thriving midlife without the crisis. And please ignore the boxes in the back because I'm redoing my office. That'll be coming up soon. Have a great week. Don't be too isolated.